The phone hacking scandal is turning into a high stakes game. The conservative led coalition is investing huge political capital into siding with the opposition Labour Party, both now ranged against media king Rupert Murdoch, who until recently was a card both parties coveted. But the hacking scandal has left the king in trouble. The people involved, whether they were directly responsible for wrongdoing, whether they sanctioned it or whether they covered it up, however high or low they go, they must not only be brought to justice, they must also have no future role in running a media company in our country. Murdoch's queen in all this is undoubtedly Chief Executive Rebecca Brooks. She remains at Murdoch's side, apparently untouchable as his Chief Executive. But now she'll be forced to appear before a parliamentary committee next week to respond to allegations of illegal activities in some of her papers. And the joker in the pack is Andy Coulson, the former editor of the News of the World, now out on police bail. Coulson is now the source of increasingly awkward questions for the Prime Minister, who hired the journalist despite repeated warnings that Coulson sanctioned payments to corrupt policemen. He just doesn't get it. He just doesn't get it. I say this to the Prime Minister. He was warned by the Deputy Prime Minister about hiring Andy Coulson. He was warned by Lord Ashdown about hiring Andy Coulson. He has now admitted in the House of Commons today that his Chief of Staff was given complete evidence which contradicted Andy Coulson's previous account. On Wednesday, sensationally, as the House of Commons was about to debate Rupert Murdoch's controversial takeover bid for the British broadcaster B Sky B, Rupert Murdoch abruptly walked away from the table, acknowledging the bid was impossible in the current climate, suggesting that the ace he holds is that he could come back and bid again. But there may be more criminal charges, and the stakes for Rupert Murdoch keep getting higher, with talk in the US that News Corp may be pursued there for bribing police under the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. Dan Rivers, CNN, London.